Hello everyone, this is Joey here, aka Green Machine 777. And today I have decided to do another commentary of one of my old episodes of MREP, which is Episode 7 Accident Prone. Now I have decided to do another commentary because I want to keep you guys entertained and well, basically, just take a look back of one of my old episodes of MREP. And as you can hear, I was using It's the Final Countdown for my intro during that time. Because I like that song. And uh, that song was used for every robot competition I competed in. When it comes to the championship fight. But after thinking about it, I decided to get rid of the intro and make a brand new intro. Back in 2016, uh, I was using more of a feeling. But after thinking about it, I decided to do another intro because... The song didn't fit well, and plus, cop copyright in general. So back in 2017, I made another intro, which I think it's much better and suits the series well. Now, when I was recording my narration for this episode, I was not using my microphone which I had back in 2008 to 2011, it had decided to die out on me, and I had to use a um, headset. And, oh boy, the sound quality of that headset was just horrible. So back in 2016, I decided to get a better microphone. And boy, glad I did. Now, in this episode, there were three voice actors. It was Tyler, Brandon, and myself. Now, I have to say, making this episode was a bit of a pain. Why, you ask? One thing. Windows Movie Maker. When I was making the episode, it was constantly freezing and... Boy, it was at its worst. It kept freezing, and it was putting clips that I didn't want, and I tried to remove those clips, and it was refusing to remove them. If anyone knows a better um, movie-making program, let me know. Currently, I'm using the other version of... Well, it's called Movie Maker, but if any, anyone knows a better movie movie making program, um, let me know. Oh boy, that crash sound effect. You know what that means. Buster is here. And uh, I'll give you one guess why I decided to name Buster Buster. But there is a slight difference between um, uh, my model of Buster to um, I Love Toy Trains model Buster. And I asked Tyler if he could use uh, his Bradley voice from his series Connor, Connor and Friends for uh, Buster because I think that voice suits him perfectly and is it just me or is the lighting not that great in the episode hmm. and also I have to point out uh, I was 
not adding any music to the ep to the episode because that time uh, I was worried that um, YouTube was gonna mute uh, the episode because back in 2008 I was using a song in MREP episode one and part two of episode one was muted. So I had to redo episode one part two and it was just frustrating. I have to admit, um, my editing was not that great. Some of the clips were way too fast. Well, I cut the scenes way too quick. I should have give it time. Oh no! Watch out! Watch out! <sighs> that was definitely a near miss. As you can see, I also had the uh, 6012 uh, steam locomotive, just like uh, Harry does. Yeah, I would say the lighting quality was not that great. I had no idea what was up with that. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, the, the editing is not that great. You can see I was playing that clip over and over. Ugh. Some of the scenes were way too rushed. So, I appreciate you guys waiting for episode 9 of MREP. It will come soon. Don't worry. After all, good things come for those who wait. Yeah, I definitely should have added some music to the episode. But like I said earlier, I was still concerned if my episodes was going to be uh, muted thanks to YouTube. But thankfully, I am adding more and more music to the episodes. Well, my future episodes. <clears throat> oh boy, my Tommy voice was way off. I don't know why, but... I think... Uh, yeah, it was definitely way off. I, I was trying to do an evil voice of Connor when I was doing the full bucket line. Well, a twist, a mixture of an evil voice with Connor. Since you know, Tommy is a bad guy. Oh boy, here we go. Crash in three, two, one. Uh, the audio was way off. And a few more jumpy scenes. <laughs> I should have taken a picture of the scenes when I had the chance. I probably forgot about that. Probably that's the case. Oh boy, he's got to be mad about this. And speaking of Albert, here he comes. And... In just a few seconds, you're gonna see you're gonna see another jumpy scene. Yup, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy, things are gonna be intense now. Here we go. Yup. <laughs> oh boy, Albert, you've really done it now. So. I do take some episode ideas for my series, so if you ever have an episode idea that will be good for my series, feel free free to 
Let me know. Now, as you can see, the engine yard wall was not painted during the time. But back in uh, 2016, the wall was painted green, and I think it suits it perfectly. Oh boy. Yep, Albert is definitely feeling guilty at this moment. Yep, there he goes, trying to look for Buster. Uh, back when I still had the uh, green floor. So you may be thinking, uh, do I use Microsoft Paint in my series? Well, yeah, but only for some specific scenes. But the thing is, I'm really not much of an artist. I only use Microsoft Paint for scenes like uh, sweat dots or angry symbols and a few other scenes. And I believe in this scene I was overacting. Oh yeah, yeah, I was definitely overacting here. And the sound quality still not that great back then. <laughs> yeah, I overacted in this as well. Uh, a third broke down breakdown in uh, one episode <laughs> crazy oh really are you sure sir what if he crashes again he is the he said the title of the episode woohoo <laughs> yeah yeah that was weird Yeah, I was over using that cricket sound effect. Probably because I couldn't think of a good song for this specific scene. In a few seconds, you're going to see something funny here. <laughs> Yeah, that always makes me laugh. Like, someone was telling them to be quiet and Joe just told them to, YOU SH! <laughs> Still makes me laugh. So, in a few minutes, we'll find out the moment of truth. Ugh. I should have taken a picture of Buster. Probably I forgot. Who knows? Oh. And he got away with his plan. There was no consequences to his plan. Probably that was the first time a villain won. Hmm. Maybe I should have added seen that Tommy should have gotten his conopsins. Because no one likes it when a bad guy wins, you know. Will you please be positive? Uh, if only I was good at Microsoft Paint, I would paint the inside of Mr. Red's house or office. And here we go, the moment of truth. Can't fool me. Oh, jeez, that sound quality. Probably because the uh, the mic of the headset was 
way too close to my mouth during that time. <laughs> oh, pff. that's Tyler's Bradley voice still makes me laugh. And that's the end of the episode. Oh yeah, he had another an accident. Well, anyway, that is uh, the commentary of episode 7. And I'll see you in MRRP episode 9.